Hi Zitakunas and welcome back to a new video! First of all I want to say that my English isn't the best. It could be that it is the worst you've ever heard, so sorry for that people. But the important thing what I've wanted to say to you guys is that a few fellow Zitakunas and of course me have started a completely new cooperation system. We are calling it the contest. We are having weekly contests that are taking place on our Zitakun 2 Discord. The link to the server is in the description below. So you are asking definitely yourself what those contests are. Honestly, those contests are a really cool thing. We will have a curtain Persian, like this time me, who is going to judge the contest entries of the competitors. The judging person is going to choose the theme, the building or the specific animal and curtain criteria that must be met. Every weekly contest begins Monday at 11.59 am Central European Time Zone and participating people has just got only one week till the deadline. The deadline is every time till Sunday 11.59 pm in Central European Time Zone as well. Oh, that was a really hard word. The final results and judgments are going to be uploaded no matter when through the whole week of the second contest. The contest of the last week was about to build a soldier and Pudu exhibit. The highest score that can be reached is, his, is 10 points. Wow. To get all 10 points you will have to perform 6 cursion areas. The first is the originality of your build. The second one is the detailing on your entry. The following one is the atmosphere on your build. And last but not least, the purpose. All competitors are sending me their safe games and user downloads. Everybody can take part. You just need to follow the following link in the description. Okay guys, I'm very excited. So let's jump now to the first entry. We will start with Bartek's entry. I will cut off the loading screen, so see you then. Okay, nice, we are there. Um, it's just a simple exhibit, seems to be. Um, okay, looks good. Oh, lacking those plants in front of the weaving point. Golden combat, what's this word? Fern, Gumba grass. And I really like the plants between those fences, so the animals have a option to hide from the visitors, to not be disturbed, but it isn't very well done, it seems to be, yeah. Um, where bushes? Yeah. Oh, no zookeeper gate, where we can enter the exhibit. Okay, then we will do this this way. A little shelter with berry dish and water dish. And yeah, that's it. Douglas fir, red pines, eucalyptus, and taro plant. A few rocks. And that's it. Now to Bartix exhibit. Originality, no points. Because it is a simple build and nothing special in it. So no points for that criteria. Detailing, one point. One point because you have put foliage around the exhibit and in front of the weaving point. It's missing more foliage inside the exhibit like grasses and rocks. Same with the guest area. Nothing much detail, just a little wooden fence for the security. Atmosphere, one point. Because you've wanted to prevent the European environment. You have lost the other points because you could do more background foliage and nothing detailed in a way for a European environment. Purpose, only two points. The animals have got enough space to roam and a little open shelter to eat and drink and of course to rest. But it's missing a shelter for the animals to retreat and to rest in order not to be disturbed, as the keeper entry isn't existing as well. That's a total of 4 points for Bartek's exhibit. Now let's jump to the next exhibit. We will go now to Alicia, to her entry. Okay, this is looking now really interesting. We're going to watch this from the visitor's mode. Okay. Um, a little zoo with a little forest. Oops, what's happening with me? Little bug glitch. Okay. Um, yeah. There. <sighs> That's really annoying. Okay, a little fountain. Uh, two benches, it's double, it's great. 
and a really really nice exhibit with much rock work, grasses and pine bushes and a little lake to make like a little grab in order for more security for the visitors and for the animals and a little shelter how cool I haven't seen this before wow yeah many cool ideas for the exhibit and here we have got a little backstage area I think this is the zookeeper entry yeah I think so a little research holding backstage stable something like that and here is the stable yeah here should be a hay bedding yeah it should be here but it isn't and yeah oh it's really detailed i like it i really really love it yeah whoops a little lag yeah my pc isn't very good but it is okay so that's all for this build wait no animals lol okay never mind this isn't a big problem so now let, let's jump to the yard ring okay alicia your originality has got one point it is something i haven't seen before i like the little gap with water and the water lilies it makes it looking realistic and i like those little shelters in the outside Okay, now on to the detailing. You've got two points. Everything looks good and the foliage in the exhibit is amazing. I really love the rockworks in the exhibit and those wooden pieces next to the roof make it looking like an extended roof. Great work. I just have one concern. I would love to see a few grass patches next to the path, but it's okay. Now on to the atmosphere. One point for the atmosphere. It looks very good. It seems to be a North American environment, but it could do it better. Make it looking more obvious that it is North American with just placing more North American trees and more background foliage. But yeah, the little fake river and the wall rocks are giving very much realism. But you could do more foliage in the background and next to the paths like mushrooms, grasses and such other how I say it. Now to the purpose, two points, everything looks good, I love your idea with those little shelters in the outside and the little gap with the water in for the security, and nice to see some benches. I also like the backstage area, it's just missing a hay bedding and food dishes. That's a total of 5 points, great work, now on to Coda's build. So Coda's entry keeps crashing so I've decided to watch his speed build and maybe he made a short showcase at the end so let us hope that he would do it or he had done that yeah Hello, gonna watch it now and today on the server is to be built oh wait you want to hear his talk and today we're doing a little speed build of a southern poodoo exhibit which is my mm -hmm. contest entry for mm -hmm. a contest on a server who is still taken to um, possibly I'll leave a link in the description um, so check that out if you guys like Zutica 2 and oh wow this looks nice sadly, um, I won't be able to do a tour because yeah, <gasps> nice so. idea with this rocks Yes, it looks promising. Which is probably what the large majority of this video will be about. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what is this going to be? It is a cool idea, but it is looking without a roof. It would be better when it, it's open air exhibit, in my opinion. Okay. 
Coda, your originality of this exhibit has got one point. It is looking very good and rare. I love your ideas and how you have prevented them in Zutekun. Now on to the detailing. You've got three points. It just I just love the bold details with the foliage everywhere, in the exhibit and in the outside. The use of the dead logs have made your build be more realistic. I really like your rock placement. Now on to the atmosphere. You gained two points. It reminds me of a temperate forest. Well done. It looks amazing amazing with that cave idea and the use of the foliage in the right combination. I just have one concern. To be honest, that roof and wooden walls have made you build really unrealistic and have made it not so much beautiful as it, as it was without it and I would give three points, I'm sorry. But yeah. Now onto the purpose, you have got two points. It seems to be that the animals have got enough space to roam such order. I just dislike that you haven't made something for them to rest, cause they are a shy animals. So you've got about eight points and that is really successful, great job. Okay guys, now onto Melee's entry, I'm really excited, the thumbnail is looking very interesting. Okay, there we are. Okay, it looks very complex. Okay. Wow. The atmosphere, really. Well done. It's really like a temperate forest. Rainforest. Do not forget. Okay. Let us walk through it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The foliage. Oh wow, boy. Looks stunning. Really good. Oh wow, you have used tank walls and wooden posts to make fences and page set. That's really creative. And so to use the dirt painting as a path is really good though too. Um, which animals are you living? Okay, Poodles and ant eaters. Gonna check that too. The background foliage is really really good. Do -do -do. Rocks and such other everywhere. So this is the wait. So this is the backstage area, right? But for which animal? Oh, for ant eaters! Wow, I really love that building to make the beige posts like this and make it. Wow, wow, wow! I really know words. This is I can't speak. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, a little bridge so they can cross it. Wow! Wow, wow! And little enrichment with cat's post. That's really creative, also. And nice, some poodles. And this little gap with leafless brushes and sand. Really good. Uh, okay, I can't walk through it. I just tried. <laughs> okay, we're going back to here. Oh, sorry for that lag. Okay, what's this? Just, yeah. Just for details. And visitors. Mm-hmm. Wow. It seems like there's a little wildlife park. It's very, very good. That is the second one. I hear water, but from where? Wow, 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 wow. This is really creative. I haven't seen this before yet, really. With this our crossing bridge and this water river thing with net. I've made that once in a UC set video and that Chinese garden video, but that's really amazing those ideas. Haven't seen them yet before. And what's that? Whoops, sorry. 
here. Okay, I need something to go. Oh, it's a bathroom. Nice. Oh, and here's a poodoo. It has across the bridge. Okay, nice. Now I'm gonna ch check that out. Really loving it. Whoops. Millie, you can build very good. Wow. I love your work. This stuff room. Well, really nice. Oh, and this should prevent a door for vehicles, right? Wow. Okay, I think we've finished so far this entry. Okay, Millie, now on to the judging of your entry. Now on to the originality. I gave you one point, cause I really love those ideas with that river goes into the wilderness. And I really like those backstage areas as well. And the highlight in that entry was the overhanging bridge where the animals can cross it. It looks very good in my eyes, and it is functional as well. I really like how you have made the picnic tables. Now onto the detailing, I gave you only two points. I really love the background of your entry, and the temperate rainforest looks really interesting. You have rendered it successfully. Well done. I really love the wall details with the backstage area. I really really like it to be honest. I have got just one concern. You should work more on your exhibits with the ground. You could use more ground textures to mix them up in order to don't have the full ground with grass patches. I have gaps. A few gaps would be nice to prevent a hiking trail with made by the animals is very interesting. But I really like it without it also. Now onto the atmosphere. I gave you also 3 points. We have prevented the temperate rainforest very well. It looks very very realistic. It reminds me to a white left park in the poor region because of the dirt path, dirt path and the use of the beige set. 3 or 3 points. I'm really sorry guys, my English is very bad. Now onto the purpose. Here I gave you also 3 points. Everything is working and functional as well. How I said, I really love the backstage areas and such other. The animals can rest, eat, drink and hide. We have seen that the zoo visitors can see the animals. Well done. That's a total of 9 points. Man, that's awesome. Okay, so now we are going to take a look at Lakoshi's entry. Yeah, it looks a little bit interesting from the top. And it seems to be a European environment. Really forestry. Yeah, let's take a look. So, this is the forest. It looks very good. Those variations of trees and pines, really good. And yeah, I like really the color. And those fences made of rocks as fencing are really, really good, honestly. Really good idea to use rocks as fences, and there is a poodle which is one concern that built that the ground texture is looking a little bit boring, but it's my opinion only. Yeah. Oh, there's a stable on a cliff. That looks interesting. And yeah. Looking good so far. But we took should take a look from the inside, so it's a poodle, not a poodle. Yeah. Oh, look, his technique that he's using to connect the buildings, for, uh, to connect the inside and the outside of exhibits. I really like it. Damn. That's really creative. Really, really like it. And that's stable. Uh, seems to be Hendrix or Snow Leo's so stable. I don't know, I don't like it much. It reminds me of the vanilla game. I like the game much more when it's modded. Mm, but that's just my opinion to it. It looks fine, but not really good. Oh, that cliff makes the exhibit looking really interesting. Okay, now we are going to judge on Lux's entry. To the originality. 
I gave you one point, cause you know, I really like the idea with the rocks as fencing. The cliff makes the exhibit looking really interesting. So now to the detailing, I gave you here two points, cause the ex exhibit is showing really your creativity. I really really like the connection between the stable and the exhibit. It is clever to see that you have built a second row of rocks to make it looking more safe for the animals and not to forget as well for the guests. And yeah, I just have one concern that the ground of the exhibit isn't looking very interesting. It's looking a little bit boring because you haven't used many dirt textures to make it looking more realistic. Now to the atmosphere. Here I gave you three points because it looks very good. Seems to be in a new European environment. I hope so. I really like it. I like that you have used sand painting as a pathing system. Well done. I just have another one concern. I can't see any kind of benches or trash cans, but that isn't very important. Cause it's just for the eye to be honest. And now to the purpose. Here I gave you two points. The animals have, have got everything seems to be like that. What they need. Great work on that. Eating, drinking, space to roam and to hide. Just don't know why you haven't placed bench and trash cans. That's a total of 8 points. Please, you can build better. Make a better stable next time. <laughs> so, we should switch then to the winner. So, let us take a look with won the first contest. It is... Mealy! With 9 points. Good job. You were really successful in the first contest of our The Tekken 2 community. So, um, I want to say that this was really hard for me. I should speak more English in my videos to learn it better. But I hope you have understood me anyway. If you want to participate as well in this kind of contest, then just follow the following link to our server in the description. If you want to check out the competitors channel, then read through the description and follow the following link. Have a great day, Zootech Bye!